Tyler here with GP Knives and we're back again to take a look at the Hogue Knives Micro Flip and Micro Switch. Let's jump right in. So today we're going to take a look at the Hogue A01 Micro Switch and the X1 Micro Flip. Now these knives have been around for a little while, but we just started carrying Hogue and these knives are a great option for a compact daily carry folder. We've got a sub three inch blade of CPM 154. And as you can see, we have quite a few variants here, two different blade shapes. We've got the Warncliffe and a classic drop point, all are hollow ground. And CPM 154 is gonna be a nice well-balanced steel for daily carry, good stain resistance and edge retention and pretty easy to sharpen as well. The hollow grind is very sharp, delivering good slicing performance, and you get the option of either the Warncliffe or the drop point, depending upon your preference. We also have two different series here. So we've got the SIG series on the left and just the standard Hogue series on the right. The SIG series knives are a partnership between Hogue and SIG firearms. The SIG Sour series come in colorways to match the different series of their firearms. So we have the Scorpion with the flat dark earth Cerakote on the blades and the Legion with the gray Cerakote blades. They also have matching medallions and accents and they come in a G10 composite handle instead of an aircraft grade aluminum. So just a little bit of a different look and feel on the SIG series. Functionality is gonna be the same. And here we've got one of the micro flip. So this is a manual deployment index flipper. And as you can see, it has a nice snappy flipper deployment. They all come with a button lock and it's got a slide safety for additional security in the open position for use. For the auto version, the micro switch, we've got the same setup here, but with an automatic deployment and the safety doubles as a security to prevent unintentional deployment of the blade. Then you slide the safety back and a nice snappy automatic deployment there with that button lock. Now they do come with a reversible clip, so they work for left or right hand carry with ambidextrous deployment. And we've got a nice filler tab on the front there for the inlaid clip. We've got quite a few different colorways here, durable Cerakote coatings on the blade in a few different colors. And those are gonna be a nice wear resistant and corrosion resistant finish. And then they also offer it with a tumbled finish and we've got it here in their aquamarine color. So if you want something that's a little more flashy to stand out in your EDC lineup, this aquamarine aluminum is gonna be a great choice. This one does come with the tumbled blade and is available in both the auto and the manual, as well as the drop point and Warncliffe blade profiles. And for a quick size comparison, we'll take a look at the micro switch with the Benchmade Mini Bug Out and the Spyderco Delica. So you can see a fair bit smaller than the Delica, pretty similar in size to the Bug Out. The overall length is going to be pretty comparable. We'll take a look at the blade stock thickness, which is a bit thicker than the Bug Out, but that hollow grind tapers it to a nice fine point. The aluminum handle construction is gonna be a bit thicker on the micro switch, fills the hand pretty nicely. And despite the all metal construction, it is still fairly lightweight for carry. And you can see also that the carry footprint is gonna be pretty compact as well. So if you're looking for a nice lightweight, high performance and USA made EDC, the micro switch auto or micro flip manual from Hogue is going to be a great choice. Again, this is Tyler with GP Knives. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and stay sharp. If you like what you've seen today and you'd like to see more, like and subscribe below. Follow us on social media for updates on all new products and drop a comment below on which you prefer between the micro flip and the micro switch.